It's time for some soft news. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? A man is getting in trouble for a gnome that he showed off at an art gallery. The gnome he created was saluting Hitler. And of all the places to make a gnome that's saluting Hitler, he did it in Germany. You see, in Germany after World War II, pretty much anything to do with Hitler was made illegal. And it's a good thing too, because Hitler made Germany look like a dick. I just can't think of anyone in this day and age that would want to buy a Hitler gnome. Not unless you're part of some white supremacist group like the KKK. See, he was just too late in developing these Hitler gnomes. If he had sold these in World War II, he would have sold them like crazy in Germany. Although it'd be kind of hard for him to sell them back then if he wasn't born. See, it all comes down to having a time machine. In other news, someone has broken into a cell phone store, but they didn't get away with very much because they didn't steal the perfect brand new cell phones. All they stole was the display-only cell phones that don't even work. All this person stole was hollow cell phone casings. And they're not even the good hollow cell phone casings. They're not even filled with candy. There's an idea. If he wants to make some profit off of this dumbass robbery he made, he should just fill those cell phone casings full of candy and sell them to children. You'd at least make a little bit of profit. And if this person took the time to look, I'm pretty sure most of these phones say display only on them. But you know, I'm giving this person too much credit because I'm assuming that they can read. And... Probably not. But you know, when you make a plan to go rob someone, you gotta actually have a plan. And you should take this plan and maybe write it down and give it to someone else to proofread your plan. And then when that person proofreads your plan, they'll see the flaw in your plan. Like, you're not gonna steal cell phones. You're gonna steal a bunch of stupid fucking cell phone casings. You know, this reminded me of this YouTube video I saw a long time ago of like a real life gnome and this made me think about if gnomes could be real. In my description I'll link you to the video and I want you to go watch it and tell me if you think it's real or not. Cause you know, maybe when we're walking down the street and we see a gnome just chilling on someone's lawn and we're like, hey look at that cute gnome on that lady's lawn. Maybe that gnome actually saw you first and he was just like, oh fuck a human, quick, strike a pose.